Alright, I know you guys are sick of me using the webcam mic, but just bear with me for this one video because my camera battery's exhausted. And I'm exhausted from this trip that I just had. It's like quarter to six in the morning. I fell asleep at about 7.45 after getting home from a flight that was delayed. I know Black Cat Feline's laughing at me right now, knowing that my flight got delayed from 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. So we had to wait in the friggin' airport for three extra hours. Getting back home. Anyways. We're all back. We're all safe. And, um, this trip was fun always going to be fun when you go on to a trip and you beat a whole bunch of people. I met the usual guys that I met from last year, but I also met some people I didn't see, or I haven't seen yet, such as both Chris and Scott of the WWE Review guys. They were cool people, very genuine people. You want, If you want real genuine people, you gotta go to those two guys. They are the most genuine that I have ever seen, personally. Um, Crossfade fan 20, we just call him Brett Titus, um, and his friend Seth, I don't know if he has a YouTube channel, um, I saw Assault and Battery, along with, uh, Stevie Breach, I think I saw Nightmare 10, saw LV5454, uh, is there any other YouTuber that I am missing? From this charade that I have seen for the first time. Nightmare Baller. I saw Nightmare Baller for like five seconds. Five seconds, yes. For about that. And so... <laughs> who else? I think that was about it. I think that, that was just about everybody that I had not seen previously that I saw into this year's WrestleMania trip. Uh, overall, like I said, it was fun. Uh, you gotta do one of these one day. Uh, it, it's exhausting, though. It is very, very, very exhausting. Because you will not get a whole lot of sleep from it. it, it it's just it's just a fact. You're not going to get too much sleep. And the fact that in this trip, Al was kind of nice enough to make us shirts, the wrestling mind, these Y shirts, which are gimmicked to be like Nexus. If anybody, under, like everybody on Facebook has been asking, what does Y stand for? And usually our response to that is, why do you bother asking? If you want a serious answer, the real answer would be, the Y stands for YWC. But, um, like I said, the uh this trip was fun. We did a whole lot of shit. Uh Thursday was pretty much just us going to the Hard Rock Cafe and then we actually met a couple wrestlers there. We saw Michael Cole outside of his coal mine box and he was next to Josh Matthews, which was kind of weird seeing as the whole Twitter incident happened like a week and a half ago. Uh we saw Alberto Del Rio and we saw his, uh, whatchamacallit, his ring announcer, Ricardo Rodriguez, over there. Uh, we saw Husky Harris leaving the Hard, uh, Hard Rock Cafe with his father and his brother. His father being Mike and his brother being Bo. We then went to the Hyatt and we saw a bunch of fucking people there. We saw Seamus. He's as pale as ever. Um, we saw Daniel Bryan. We saw Justin Roberts, Mark Henry, Jerry Lawler, Brodus Clay. Uh, who else did we see? I just want to save the best for last. We we saw Hornswoggle. We saw... Uh, there, there must have been somebody else I'm missing. There must have been Matt Stryker. Uh, Jim Ross, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, we saw a lot of freaking people there. And then, to top it off, we saw The Miz with Maurice. 
I'm gonna tell you right now, I feel like an idiot now, because I was, like, seriously shell-shocked when he walked by us. I was like... It was crazy. But, um, that was our first night, our second night, Friday... Uh, we went to the aquarium and the Coke Museum where we still had that big debate over what is it called? Soda or pop? <clears throat> Soda. So, anyways, I thought that that was fun. That's where we met the WWE Review guys. And like I said, they are just the most genuine people I had ever, I had ever associated with. Um... They were just cool all around. They they seem like the type that nothing pisses them off. Like, you could literally say something so offensive to them, they'll just take it with a grain of salt. That's just how they are, which is actually a good thing. But, um, it was nice meeting you guys. Uh, who else? What else did we do? Oh, me and, uh, MB went to Ring of Honor to the first night. Very good show. Very good guy. Uh, Heard it came out great on uh, Go Fight Live. So, yeah, you guys definitely check that out. Check the replay. And afterwards, we saw a couple more wrestlers. We saw AJ, AJ Styles. Who else did we see? Uh, we saw a couple of others. Gail Kim was apparently there. And Wade Bauer came out. And I, I literally screamed at him while he was coming out. It's Wade Bauer! I screamed that right in front of him. And then once I said that, he started doing his little bare knuckle stance. It was cool. It was really funny. Um, Saturday we went to Six Flags, which was let's just say it was hell getting there and hell getting out. But in between, when we were there, that was fun. That was no doubt about it. I had fun with everybody there. Uh, so Six Flags. I wish I had my tiger to prove that I am the champion at Whack-A-Mole. I know the dirty insults are coming, especially from you two. You know who you are. So, that was fun in and of itself. We were, And then afterwards, we went to a thing called Five Dollar Wrestling, which was pretty much just on the inner, uh, this big screen with uh, a bunch of wrestling matches from different promotions that were so bad. And Cole Cabana, and I can't remember the other guy's name, they commentated and basically made fun of it. And in one of the matches, one of the special guest commentators was Luke Gallows. And he's getting ready to have a shot. And I screamed out of nowhere, hey, you're not supposed to drink, you're straight edge. He looks at me and then says, it's called a work, son. And right after he said that, Johnny Thunder comes out with the classic, it's still real to me, damn it. When he said that, the crowd gave him the biggest pop. No, let me reiterate. They gave him the biggest soda of all of the reactions that any of the jokes had made. That that got the biggest reaction. He he, he got the pop or the soda of the night. And um, I after the show, I saw some other uh, independent workers there, like El Generico, Chuck Taylor, Chris Hero. Uh, who else was there? There's probably a couple of others. Oh, I didn't get to mention. Uh, one night, I think it was the night at the Ring of Honor, Lucky Cannon came out and started hugging Boo Boo and said, I love you, man. I freaking love you. I love you. He started hugging him and, like, all that. Like, like yeah, you've been on my side from day one. And then, of course, Sunday, Fan Access, and then WrestleMania. Fan Access is fun. If you want to spend an hour and a half to maybe two hours looking at nostalgia and some fun uh, s sections. But, and get some autographs. So, there was stuff to do there. It's just that there, there wasn't enough to complete the four hour deal that we got. Because we were allowed to be there for about four hours for our session. And for, and we completed everything within like two hours. Or what we wanted to do in two hours. I think all we had left was autographs. And the lines were too long and monotonous. So we didn't care. So we went back. Got our Y shirts. Put them on. I think we went to IHOP. And then we went to the Georgia Dome. And that's when we saw WrestleMania. Being there live. WrestleMania was a. It was a fun show. I, I predicted to myself, if I saw this on pay-per-view, 
I wouldn't like it as much. I probably would think that this show was pretty bad. And the only match being good would have been Triple H versus The Undertaker. But, um, other than that, I, I don't see... I mean, some people are calling this terrible. I'll, I'll have to watch it, because I didn't think it was as bad as WrestleMania. is like WrestleMania 9 or 11 or 15. But after that, that was a good mania. And then we got Monday, where some of our crew was gone. I mean, both Black Heffy and MB Wrestler had left already. I think Crossfade Fan and his friend Seth had left already. WWE Review Guys had left already. And so I think it was just me, Johnny Thunder, Boo Boo, The Wrestling Mind, Sabu Teenage Forever. Uh, I know I'm forgetting somebody. Seth, Boo Boo, Johnny Thunder, Gilbert Blaze, uh, Wrestling Mind. Oh, Travis, uh, Sabu Teenage Forever's brother was also with us. And like I said, Raw was fun. Sin Cara live. He was... He was over. He's going to he's gonna replace Rey Mysterio. I've been saying this since, like, day one. He's the man that's going to replace Rey Mysterio. I mean, it's, it's no question about it. Rey Mysterio is going to go, and Sin Cara is going to take his place. And I'd be shocked, because they put so much emphasis on this guy. He's already got a t-shirt, for crying out loud. They've put so much emphasis on this guy. I, I'd be shocked if he becomes a flash in the pan. I mean, and, and not to mention he's a big name around the world, and they've acknowledged it. So... This guy's going to be a deal. He has to be. He has to be a big deal. Otherwise, th th that's going to be stupid. Um, and after going from Raw, we realize that we are going to have Rock versus Cena next year. I'm definitely going to that. There's no way I'm missing that. I have to go see Rock versus John Cena. The Rock versus John Cena is a must-see show. And i got to see. I'll, I'll do anything to freaking see that. But after Raw, we got drenched into a fucking storm, and yeah, we had to stay in one hotel to wait till the storm went away. So, other than that, that was great. I have some footage, I have some photos that I'm willing to share with people. Uh, I just really, I'm just really tired, so I'm probably going to put together a tribute video first, which is going to take a little while, but that'll definitely be up there. And, yeah, I'm just real exhausted now. I woke up, it was like 4.50 in the morning. Cause I slept for about 9 hours, I didn't realize it. Let me just remind you all, when you go on this trip, or this type of trip, you're not going to get a lot of sleep. Just saying, you're not going to get a lot of sleep. Um, other than that, that, that's really it. And if you go on my Facebook, if you have me on Facebook, I've got a picture with Hornswoggle and R-Truth. So anyways, that's pretty much it. Last thing I just want to say is, everybody, thank you for the memory. Um, I would like to apologize because I did say that this trip wasn't as good as Phoenix and I tried to put it down. It was better than what I gave it credit for. This trip was actually pretty good. Uh, there was a lot of good stuff. I mean, there was just a couple things that just got me a little irritated on the trip. But it was a fun trip. It, it still had great moments for everybody to enjoy. The Six Flags, uh, the Fan Access, uh, the Aquarium, the Coke Museum. Us going crazy on whether it was pop or soda. But uh, yeah, I, I hope to see all of you again. I'm hoping to talk to all of you on Skype. Once again, do our usual thing. And who knows, let's, let's hope we cross paths again. And yeah, oh! One more thing, keep adding. If you want to go to WrestleMania 28, start saving up now. Start planning now. You don't have to go into serious details. Just start your simple plans. And don't over plan. That's all I'm going to say. Just don't over plan. So, definitely go to WrestleMania 28 if you are thinking about it. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're Doom Guy. Doom Guy, if you're going to come. Go ahead, I'm not going to treat you as an outcast. If you come, I'll treat you like anybody else. I don't really care. Even, no matter who it is, just treat you with respect. Just treat me with the same amount of respect and we'll be cool on the trip. I don't care to start fights, it's a trip. Anyways, I think I've rambled 
long enough. Just to let you know, there should be video footage later on that I have recorded that I'm going to upload. Till then, take care.